Welcome to Operations with Polynomials. Today's objectives are to multiply divide and simplify monomials. But to be able to multiply, divide, and simplify monomials, we have to go through all the properties for multiplying and dividing. So what I'm going to do is I will do an example of each, and then we can write the property right next to it. So here's our first example. So let's say we have two variables of the same base, and they're being multiplied together. In order to simplify this, you have to add the exponent values of 4 and 3. And we get x raised to the 7. Alright, now what about if you have a variable being raised to an exponent, and that's being raised to another exponent? Well, these get multiplied. So we have y raised to the 4 times 3. And that equals 12. Now, how about if we have a variable, such as x to the third, over x to the fifth? Well, if we have it in fraction form, we can subtract the exponent values. So it's x raised to the three minus five. And that becomes x raised to the negative two. Now, what happens if we have a variable that's being raised to a negative number. Well, if we have a variable being raised to a negative number, all we do with that quantity is that we find the reciprocal. Or you can say we simply flip it over. So this would not be a final answer. So not. Because we have the negative exponent value, and we don't want negative exponent values. So if you have an exponent that's negative, you always find a reciprocal. Okay, I'm going to draw a line over here to give us some space. Alright, our next example. Um, let's say we have a product, such as x squared, y squared. And that's being raised to the fourth. So to simplify this, you take this exponent and you distribute it to each of the exponents in your product. So your product becomes x 2 times 4 times y raised to the 2 times 4. So your final answer becomes x to the 8th, y to the 8th. Alright, but what if we have an example similar to the previous one, but now it's a fraction. So let's say we have x squared over y squared, and that's being raised to the fourth. Well, you can't cancel out the variables here. You can't subtract the two and the two because x and y aren't the same basis. So all you can do is take this four and distribute it to each term here. So your final answer becomes x to the eighth, y to the eighth. Okay. And our very last one is the zero property. So let's say we have an expression such as z raised to the zero. Well the rule for raising to the zero is anything raised to the zero power is just one. Okay. And those are going to be our properties for exponent values that we'll be using in this section. All right, let's practice simplifying some monomials. So we're going to be simplifying monomials. So for our first example, let's say we had 2x raised to the negative 2 y squared raised to the third times 
4x, y raised to the negative 2. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is take this 3 and distribute it to each term in the parentheses. So we're going to have 2 raised to the 3. We're going to have x raised to the negative 2 times 3, negative 6. And then we'll have y raised to the 6th as well. Now, nothing can really happen in the second parentheses except this negative 2. So we have 4x, and instead of having the y raised to the negative 2, we're going to put that in the denominator. So we're going to have 4x divided by y squared. Okay. Now I'm going to simplify this expression again by saying that 2 cubed is 8. I'm going to keep the y raised to the 6 up here and bring the x raised to the 6 down here. And that's going to be multiplied by 4x over y squared. So now I have 8y raised to the 6 divided by x to the 6 times 4x over y squared. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine these two. And that's going to give me 32x y to the 6th over x to the 6th y squared. So we have one more step left to combine like terms and like variables. On the numerator we have an x and on the bottom we have an x raised to the 6. So what we can do here is let's split these up. So we have 32 and that's just over 1. Then we have x over x raised to the 6. And then we have y to the 6th over y squared. So the 32 will just stay 32. The x basically raised to the 1 over x to the 6 is going to become x raised to the negative 5. And the other y is going to become y raised to the 4th. It's y raised to the 4th because we have y raised to the 6th over the 2. So we do 6 minus 2. Now, this answer here isn't finalized because we still have a negative exponent. So, to finish it up, I'm going to do 32 y to the 4th over x to the 5th. And that's going to be our final answer. So we did a few of the properties here. We distributed an exponent value to a product. We did some negative exponents as well. And we did some quotient properties as well. All right, so that was an example of simplifying a monomial. Now, let's say we have something such as a binomial or a trinomial, and we have to simplify it. So, let's simplify polynomial. So, an example of a polynomial could be 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. And let's say that's being subtracted by x squared plus x minus 2. So the main thing you want to remember here is to combine like terms. But before we do that, we want to be aware of this negative. So what I would do is I would honestly distribute the negative through to each term. So I have 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 minus x squared minus x plus 2. I think this makes it easier to combine like terms because now you see you have your 4x squared and your x squared. That's just going to become 3x squared. Then you have your negative 3x and your negative x. That's just going to become minus 4x. And then your 1 and your 2 will just be 3. And that's an example of simplifying polynomials. The previous problems have dealt with simplifying monomials and simplifying polynomials. Now we're going to work on multiplying polynomials, and we're going to do it by distributing. So let's multiply some polynomials. All 
All right, so let's say our first polynomial is x minus 2. And our second polynomial is x squared plus 3x minus 1. All right, so we're going to do this by distributing, not foiling, because here it would be difficult to do first, inner, outer, and last, because you know, there's two terms in our binomial and three terms in our trinomial. So we simply just distribute. So first let's distribute this x term to each one of these terms on the right. So we do x times x squared. That's going to give us x to the third. And then we do x times 3x. That'll be 3x squared. And then we do x times the negative 1. And that gives us negative x. All right, so we distribute the x through. Now we'll distribute the negative 2 through. So we do negative 2 times x squared gives us negative 2x squared. And then we do negative 2 times 3x. That gives us minus 6x. And the last term will be negative 2 times negative 1. And that'll be 2. So at this point, we're going to combine like terms. So there's no uh, terms that are raised to the third. So x to the third will stand alone. But for the x squared terms, we have a positive 3x squared and a negative 2x. So that's just going to be x squared. Then we have for the single exponent terms, we have x and 6x here. That's going to combine to be negative 7x. And finally, the 2 is the only constant, so that'll hang out here. And there you go. That's how you multiply polynomials. All right, and that's going to be the end of our video for today. Hope this was helpful. Thank you, and take care.